Hello everyone, CapM here, and in this video I want to get into Oracle Corp and their entry into the race to acquire TikTok. Also, if you'd like 3 free stocks and access to our private Discord chat, check the links in the description below. So guys, getting into it, enterprise software maker Oracle has expressed an interest in purchasing TikTok's US business and they're competing with Microsoft in a race to acquire the popular Chinese-owned viral video streaming app, according to some anonymous people familiar with the matter. Now, Oracle Corp has made a preliminary approach to other parties, including the venture capital firm Sequoia Capital, to partner with it in a bid for the app's operations in the US, Canada, Australia, and New Zealand. President Donald Trump on Friday had ordered ByteDance to sell its US assets within 90 days adding to an earlier executive order that would prohibit U.S. persons and companies from doing business with TikTok, which would be effective 45 days from August 6th. Trump earlier had said the U.S. would ban TikTok on September 15th if an American buyer does not come in and buy them up. So it's important to note that Oracle held about $43 billion in cash as of the end of May, making it one of the few companies that could potentially afford the big price tag for TikTok. Analysts and bankers have estimated the value of TikTok's U.S. business between between 20 and 50 billion dollars and that's a pretty wide range that reflects the complexity involved in separating TikTok's American and global businesses. So Oracle is currently the world's second largest software maker and is focused on supplying to business customers, which is why its attempt to buy TikTok is pretty interesting, seeing that it has virtually no investments in consumer apps or social media. So they could be wanting to hedge themselves and start dipping their toes into new areas which could represent more growth for the company. So guys, if you've been enjoying the videos so far, can you please drop a like? It really helps out the channel a lot with the algorithm and i really appreciate it and it lets me know you guys enjoy the content so now let's get into the stock chart so guys getting into the chart of oracle corp we did see a huge retracement during the pandemic and we started breaking under this level that was a huge level of support for pretty much over a year and we do see that right now we are trending back upwards after where we were able to break above the 20 and 50 exponential moving averages in this area. Now, what we do see right here is that it is approaching an area of value, and we are around the 200 simple and exponential moving averages. And if Oracle Corp were to be able to buy TikTok's US business, this could be a very bullish catalyst for the stock, and we can see a trend higher. So currently, I do think this is a nice area of value for Oracle Corp. And if we did want to go into here, guys, we can risk about 3.5% of our portfolio to potentially trend much higher because Oracle Corp hasn't really tested up into this area, which is around the $58 region, where I could expect it to test if we do have more bullish news on the stock. Now, that would be a 3 to 1 reward to risk ratio, considering that would be about a 10% gain. As I said before, Oracle Corp can be in a nice area of value, considering that it retraced back to its 200 simple and exponential moving averages. And really, this is the key area that I'm looking at if we start breaking and closing under on the weekly chart at least we can't see a further downtrend in the stock so it's important to note also if we do start closing above the 20 and 50 exponential moving averages again i can be much more bullish and that would reaffirm the bullish sentiment that i do have on oracle corp if the tiktok deal happens now let's head into the weekly chart to get a clearer picture and heading into the weekly chart guys you see during the pandemic we kind of tested and broke under the 200 simple and exponential moving averages just to reclaim the region two weeks later so right now the really long-term time frame support level that i'm seeing is around this kind of 52 dollar region because it was a huge area of resistance once twice a third time a fourth time and then the fifth time we tested it we broke higher and as you guys know i always say that the more times you test a region the higher the likelihood for a breakout and we saw just that right and we got again supported by this region trended much higher and we kind of established this bearish descending triangle formation that could have signified to us a more bearish downtrend in the stock and of course this aligned nicely with the february and march market crash and we did see a pretty huge capitulation but again, we have reclaimed the region and we are testing again close to the support box. So that can be a nice trade that I had outlined for you guys. We can potentially see a retest to these recent highs and potentially a higher breakout. And just using the Fibonacci sequence to see some areas of confluence, we do see that this area over here is aligning nicely with the 236 level on the Fibonacci sequence that generally can help a strong uptrend continue. So really this can be a nice area. It also aligns nicely with the 50 exponential weekly moving average as well. And I do think there's potential higher upside for Oracle Corp, especially if we do start closing above this $55 region. So overall, guys, if you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel a lot with the algorithm. Thank you guys for watching and have a great one.